of you may not know, Farah was our choreographer on the first ever IFA in London. And she has the unique credit of making two left feet also dance. <laughs> and now, let me invite. You can say the name. The ABC of super hit music. Amit Trivedi, Badsha, and C is Chauhan Sunidhi. Ladies and gentlemen, please, may we have all three of them up here. Bacha and Sunidhi. I'm leaving the stage for Karan and Farah to take over. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We are here thank with you. absolutely the most illustrious voices in the music film and uh, the music industry of our cinema, Amit Trivedi, Sunidhi Chauhan, and the man himself, Bacha. Bacha, this is your first IFA. Yes, sir. What does it feel like? Uh, uh, very exciting. Wow, <laughs> you are really looking at <laughs> Shorty <laughs> rakhuma, ma, thoda. But uh, I'm very excited, uh, responsible, uh, nervous, bhi ho hai, but I'm really excited. So. Well, Bacha, you've lost a lot of weight. We'll talk about it. That's it. How? Yeah, we can have those discussions <laughs> okay. later. Thank you. Uh, Bacha, we're all yes, very sir. excited. Everyone at IFA, yes. the 23rd IFA and Bacha's first performance. Yes. And we're all set. And I hope you are too. Yes, Island, Abu Dhabi, 23rd edition of IFA. It yeah. all awaits you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited because I'm... You're really you. looking excited. I I'll be in the company of... Abhi, Amit, sir, and Sunidhi, I'm standing here, so what do I say? Sunidhi is my neighbor. Yes. <laughs> How excited are you to be Super my neighbor? Super duper. <laughs> I don't know that I'm her neighbor, but uh, I'm really, truly very, very excited. Because uh, IFA ka hissa hum bante hai, lekin this time it's even more special because I'm going to perform for IFA Rocks, and I'm really looking forward wow. to being there. Yes. We're all very excited, Sunidhi. You have had tremendous, tremendous, supreme chart busters as songs, yes, and you, everyone awaits your performance, and all the songs that we're going to get to hear and experience at the 23rd edition of IFA. We can't wait. Thank you, do Sunidhi. Do you do this impromptu or like you learned it before? No, I get paid okay, to do this. Uh, Avet. I am also very, very, very excited because I think this is my second. Yes. It will be my second performance. The first time around, it was in Mumbai because I've known always that IFA ha uh, happens in various countries. I was very disappointed it was in Mumbai. <laughs> 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 but uh, that was my first one. And uh, I, was, uh, I did my first concept they called Indra Dhanush concert there. Yeah. So this time around also I have some unique uh, idea planned for this performance. So really looking forward. Karan, how excited are you? I'm just excited that I'm hosting IFA Rocks with you. Yeah. Because you've not only been an epitome of talent as far as film direction, but even fashion. The way you've taken giant leaps in the world of fashion, as we can see today, has been admirable to say the least. Uh, moving very okay, swiftly. Yeah, thank swiftly. You. Let's call Moving Salman very Hussain. swiftly from here. Uh, maybe please have one of the supreme friends of IFA and has been not only a supporter, but also bringing his vibrant energy. Ladies and gentlemen, can we call on stage Varun Dhawan? See the vibrant energy. Wow. <laughs> Varun, you've been, you've been a fantastic friend of IFA for so many years. And this is your, you've performed several times. You know how many times? Only twice. Only twice. Yeah. Is this going to be your third? This is, this is going to be my third. Last year, the dates moved, so I missed out. Okay. But very excited to be in Abu Dhabi. I've shot uh, Disham over there. I had a great experience. Uh, one of my favorite cities to be in. And uh, guys, make some noise. Yeah, IFA is back in Abu Dhabi. And uh, yeah, always a pleasure to uh, hear Sabas for the 23rd IFAS. For the 23rd time, and the same, sp Salman Bhai was also saying this, the same speech he gave last year. 
No, and, but, and, and we're all very excited. And thank you, Ifa. Ifa awaits you. And but you. I think we should collectively call the man. Of no, the, the moment, man, the man the of the man moment, makes the it man all of happen, life. makes it all possible. We'll collectively just scream out his name. <laughs> to <laughs> Salman, <laughs> Salman Khan. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, Salman Khan is on stage, and we'd like to invite also one of the most admirable hosts of IFA, a tremendous actor, multi-talented. Please bring on stage Farhan Akhtar. <laughs> Farhan, you've been a host of IFA several times, several, several times, and this we are, you're back on stage for the final night. How does it feel? Um, well, this is not the final night, so I don't know how to feel right now. I will feel something on the final night. But uh, my other half, my better half, who's going to be hosting with me, is not here today. So, Abhishek Bachchan is not here, but I'm looking forward to hosting. I want to ask Salman, he so was hosting last year. They've loved my hosting yeah, so much that ah. they've got Farhan and Abhishek. and Abhishek and you and Karan to host it but this time. But we are hosting another event. We are not hosting your event. Rocks, you are not there. So how come they get to host the bigger event? Because you said you prefer to dance because that was easier for you than hosting. <laughs> was it? These three guys here. You know, actually, because uh, hosting took three okay. hours, where the dance will get over in six minutes. Six minutes. I think you cut down to four now. <laughs> Naman, you have anything else to say <laughs> for your a massive journey with IFA? This is your sixth been, year, no? Yeah, sixth no, year? No, 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 seventh no, no, year? No. Sixth year. Sixth year. No, no, more. More, a lot more. I think, um, how many? Six. six. Consecutive year. Uh, there was a gap for two, three years in uh, Beach May. Why? <laughs> You're not okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Yas Island is beautiful, and we're going to be there soon. What? When is it? Huh? Tenth, eleventh of Feb. Yeah. But right now, I got to go to Mud Island. Again? So <laughs> From Yas there. Island to Mud Island? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I no, but we're all very excited, Salman. You're going to be the man of the moment and the man of the night, and we can't wait. Thank you very much for being such a huge support to us. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'd like, to, we'd like to thank everyone individually, to Amit, to Sunidhi, Farah, Salman, Varun, Farhan, Batsha, and myself. On all our behalves, we'd like to thank the media uh, that is present today for actually coming in huge numbers and being a huge support to the platform that IFA has become. And of course, to the three boys, one of whom I think is waiting in the aisles and needs to come right back. Sabas. No. <laughs> no First, thank you. You've thank been you, awesome. Sabas. For the 23rd time, we are seeing you. <laughs> 23rd time only today? Yeah. Ras, you have a vote of thanks, I, I, I presume. No, no, no. no. Uh, first, thank you very much, all of you. And uh, I'd say uh, you can take your seats uh, as we Still call you back go? on. Yeah. Still more to go? Just about five minutes more. OK. Yeah. Both your dhagas are falling out. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's go. industry, the film fraternity of India. Thank you so much. We love you, Karan. Assalamu alaikum. Namaste. Good evening, everyone. And thank you so much for being with us here tonight. It's our honor and pleasure to be here with our partners as we announce IFA returning to Abu Dhabi for a second time. With excitement, we can't wait to celebrate all the Indian movies and celebrities and all the magic that they bring to the film industry. The UAE and India have a long-lasting relationship that started way before IFA, and we continue on this strong relationship through sharing of our cultures, music, food, and love for the movies. 
Today, we have over more than millions of Indians that call Abu Dhabi home, and India remains to be amongst our top three key markets for attracting tourism and travelers. We don't just stop there. We continue to look at how we can increase and offer, increase our offering, creating products that attract Indians to come to Abu Dhabi. Next month, we will see the Bollywood Biggest Stars exhibition that will be hosted at the Louvre that celebrates the best of Indian movies. With movies being produced every day in Abu Dhabi, we have the Shoom, which I'm sure a lot of you know, and hopefully more Bollywood movies to be held in Abu Dhabi. But we don't stop there. We're always looking at what other potential partnerships can we unlock? How can we work and collaborate with the influential celebrities of India to show all that Abu Dhabi has to offer? I'm sure a lot of you have seen the, product, the campaign that we've done on Yas Island with Ranveer Singh, where he's brought a lot of his dynamism and energy to show what the destination has to offer. Ranveer also gave us the pleasure of joining us during the NBA games last of October with a lot of other world celebrities, such as Shaquille O'Neal, the larger than life himself. But speaking about Shaquille, when he heard about IFA, he got really excited and announced it in his own way. So let's have a look. Abu Dhabi, IFA 2022. Salam, Abu Dhabi. And welcome, biggest real estate company, Miral, a creator of dreams. A company that creates destinations and immersive experiences. Representing Miral today, we have Tagrid Al Said, who's the executive director of Group Communication and Destination Marketing. She's pivotal in bolstering Miral's overall integrated marketing communications framework encompassing destination awareness, strategic direction, and hospitality business partnerships. At Yas Island, in our own experience, we've realized and seen in action the word partnership. It means something out there. Tagrid is an appointed board member at Experience Hub, the trade and promotion arm of Yas Island Abu Dhabi, and a subsidiary of Miral. She's actively engaged within different industry circles locally, regionally, and internationally. As a Techstars Hub 71 Accelerator Program mentor, and member of the Stratclyde UAE Alumni Entrepreneurial Advisory Board, Khalifa Fund for Enterprise Development, and Abu Dhabi Business Women Council, and a partner at 2454, which is driving the film agenda across Abu Dhabi. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together to welcome a friend of IFA, Tagrid Al Said, Executive Director, Group Communications and Destination Marketing, Miral. everyone. It is a great pleasure to be with you on this glamorous occasion. We are incredibly pleased that the International Indian Film Academy Weekend and Awards, IFA, will return once more to Abu Dhabi's Yas Island in February of next year for its 23rd edition, following the success of the 22nd edition on the island. It gives us a great pride that Abu Dhabi is the first international destination to sequentially host the awards. An event of this scale is integral to Abu Dhabi positioning as a top global destination, capturing global attention and shining a spotlight on Yas Island's spectacular offering to millions of fans and visitors. Endorsed by Bollywood royalty, we are proud that Yas Island and its compelling world-class attractions has become a, dest a destination of a choice for Indian holiday and filmmakers. In fact, last year, Salman Khan told the media that he is a, a massive admirer of Abu Dhabi while millions followed his visit online. Another huge fan of Yas Island in Abu Dhabi will be performing of next year's IFAS Awards, our one and only brand ambassador, Ranveer Singh. I encourage you all to watch his viral campaign, Yasi Dekhase. I encourage you all 
to watch his campaigns which capture the superstar thrilling journeys throughout the island, full of vibrancy and non-stop energy. Historically, the United Arab Emirates and India have always enjoyed strong bond of friendship based on historical culture ties. This year marked 50 years of mutual relations, and we believe a key area of collaboration will be our continued partnership with the powerful Indian film industry. The Indian film industry is of great importance to the United Arab Emirates, as it has driven economic diversification, sparking our creative sector by creating jobs and flourishing opportunities. As I am sure you are aware, the global Hindi language film industry is currently worth more than $1.6 billion and produces more movies than any other. Simply astonishing. Blending iconic landmarks, breathtaking landscapes, and marvelous sandy, sandy beach, all supported by world-class production facilities. The United Arab Emirates is fast becoming a top filming destination. We have seen the capital city, Abu Dhabi, emerge as the preferred choice for Indian film directors due to the diverse creativity and in incentives it offers. In the past decade, more than 130 Hollywood and Bollywood and regional produ productions have been filmed in the Emirate. This includes Indian favorites such as Race 3, Baby, and The Shoe. We are delighted that the popularity of Abu Dhabi among Indian filmmakers continue to grow, and this trend is strengthened by bringing the greatest of the industry to the Emirate with next year's IFAS Awards. We know that the upcoming IFA 2023 will bring together global celebrities, international media, fans, and worldwide film lovers to witness fascinating entertainment and performance by A-list Bollywood stars. We are more than the host for these awards. Many of us have been keen, lifelong champions of Indian cinema. And I know for a fact that people in the United Emirates are counting down the days to see their favorite Indian superstars on Yas Island in Abu Dhabi again. Finally, I want to thank the International Indian Film Academy and WizCraft for selecting Yas Island Abu Dhabi to host another edition of these outstanding awards. And of course, I would also like to express our gratitude to our long-term partner, the Department of Culture and Tourism Abu Dhabi, who share our goals to accelerate the realization of the Emirates tourism vision and growth and contribute to the industry's ecosystem. We look forward to welcoming all our guests from India and the world to Yas Island and Abu Dhabi. We hope you will get the chance to enjoy our beautiful destination and all we have planned for you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press corp. Um, on behalf of everybody at the Abu Dhabi Film Commission, I'd like to say how delighted I am to be with you here uh, for the announcement of another edition of AIFA and Abu Dhabi. In recent years, Abu Dhabi's film industry has become more closely entwined with India's film industry than ever before. Uh, recognizing that the UAE and India enjoy a close relationship based on shared cultures, trade, and tourism. And it's no coincidence. The UAE is India's third largest bilateral trade partner after the USA and China. With nearly three million expats living and working in our country, that's nearly one third of our total population. And it's this enormous diaspora, which partly explains why so many Indian filmmakers come and shoot and produce in Abu Dhabi. And I'll give you a great example. Um, as many of you know, at the end of last year, Ritik Roshan shot his new feature film, uh, Vikram Vida, in our huge outdoor back lot in Kizad, just, just, uh, just 20 minutes from Yaz Island. And in one of these scenes, they needed 2,500 extras. Every single one was found in Abu Dhabi. 
meaning production didn't have to pay to fly them down, didn't have to put them up. And cost savings, as any producer knows, is one of the keys to making a good movie. So the local Indian community is just one of the reasons why, over the past years, Abu Dhabi has been sh a shooting location of choice for so many of India's top producers, including Yashraj Films, Tips, Fox Star Studios, Sajid Nadiawala, all of whom have shot uh, some very familiar features here, including Bharat, Race 3, Saho, Bang Bang, Dishum, Bunti or Bubbly 2, Hero Ponti 2, and of course, Tigers in the Hay, starring Abu Dhabi's favorite son and the host of next year's IFA Awards, once again, Salman Khan. And it also explains why over the past couple of years, many Indian producers have decided to open production offices in Abu Dhabi. Ali uh, Zafar Abbas, who you worked with, uh, Tanvin Gandhi, uh, Edosi, Piyu Singh, Shweta Pillai, and the list goes on and on. So all of these Indian nationals have made Abu Dhabi their homes, and in the past year, opened up production offices in our new Yaz Creative Hub, obviously on Yaz Island, a purpose-built media, entertainment, and gaming campus for over 700 companies today and thousands of freelancers, from cinematographers to set decorators to production accountants many of them hailing from all parts of India, from Kayan Kumari to Kashmir. I think that's right. Um, so last November, our government uh, made a very important announcement, which concerns this film industry. They announced a 30 billion 10-year investment, that's about $6 billion, to accelerate the growth of the culture creative industries. And one of the first projects to come out of this new strategy will be a massive studio city complex consisting of a dozen purpose-built uh, sound stages, exactly where I was talking about before, where the back lot is where they shot Tigers in the Hay, about 20 minutes from Yaz Island. Um, anyway, all this to say that it would seem that the India-Abu Dhabi mutually beneficial cooperation is set to continue to grow in strength and volume for many years to come. So with that, allow me to finish where I started in celebrating the milestone moment of cooperation between Abu Dhabi and India at the 2023 IFA Awards. On behalf of all of us at the Abu Dhabi Commission and the larger Abu Dhabi media and, in and entertainment industry, our deepest thanks to local partners, Morale, DCT, and of course, our best Indian friends, Saba Joseph, Andre, and Noreen of Wiscraft. And last but not least, Salman Khan, who I said in my last speech, I'm hoping will come back and shoot very soon. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. And um, first of all, thanks to all the media uh, people here who have taken time out to participate in today's press conference event here in Mumbai. Thank you very much for your presence here. Next, uh, uh, Shabas just mentioned, this is the seventh year of our collaboration with uh, IFA. And uh, uh, I think one of the reasons for a good success of this collaboration is because uh, the brand core brand values of Nexa and IFA uh, sort of converge. The Nexa brand, uh, yes, Salman. Uh, the Nexa brand is uh, not just an automotive uh, um, brand; it's also a car buying experience. And uh, the core values are create and inspire. And IFA has those brand values. Creation, creation and inspiration. And um, that is the reason why this partnership is so strong. Uh, as regards the IFA event, which uh, uh, it, it, it is actually a great platform uh, for, uh, for, uh, for um, appreciating and recognizing the talent, the creativity of uh, the Indian cinema. And that's great, because it provides a global platform uh, which was so lacking earlier. 
So that was the great work done uh, by IFA. And uh, I must thank uh, today for uh, it's, it, it. We really admire the Suzuki Nexa. We really admire the, uh, the, the actors, the participants of the Indian film industry, because they have that creativity and they really inspire people all over the country, in fact, all over the globe. So today, for example, I, I know Salman uh, uh, has been, uh, he has actually been a driver of the success for uh, I, IFA, <laughs> of IFA. <laughs> okay, he's the force, he's the force behind the success of IFA, and today I'm so happy. So, so many of the film fraternity people are here. Um, Karan is here as well as uh, Farhan and uh, Varun, uh, uh, of course, uh, Basha, Farah, um, Sunidhi, Amit, all of them are here. So thank you very much for that. I think a big round of applause for all the friends from this thing. Yes. Thank you very much, Salman. Thank you. Thank you, Salman. I'm not going to. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Yeah, OK. So uh, uh, finally, I think uh, one, um, uh, one I, I, I'll quickly finish this uh, uh, short talk, because um, I must thank uh, the team from Viscraft for uh, e making this such a success year after year. Uh, Sabash, Andre, Graf, they work tirelessly. Um, I think they have done a fantastic job of all these years. Uh, a big round of applause for the Viscraft as well. And finally, when uh, uh, Shabash told me this time, this will be the second the second year consecutively where we will have it in Abu Dhabi, the IFA event. I was very happy because last year event was such a success. And I think the team from Abu Dhabi, all uh, the support that they have given, the Ministry of Culture, the tourism, we saw uh, the uh, other, other uh, members from the uh, Abu Dhabi um, uh, government and uh, and, and the, all the support they have given to IFA, I think uh, they have done fantastic. I was very happy that this event is going to be held in Abu Dhabi again. Uh, round of applause for, uh, for our friends from uh, Abu Dhabi as well. Thank you. And we hope we'll have a very, very successful IFA event this year as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hey.